Fabricator is a combination 3D printer and recycler, and it was designed and developed through a small business contract. First off, when we're going to go to space, the main thing is that we have to have spares. Uh, it's a very tremendous mass that has to be launched to space. So we've got to find a sustainable source for filament. So on the ISS, we know that there's multitudes and multitudes of plastic baggies. If we can recycle these, then we're on our way to getting our filament. Once the a refabricator recycles and makes new filament, we are able to print new parts. This will allow us to have samples of not only the 3D printer filament that we're recycling, but also of printed parts generated from that filament. And that will allow us to test these specimens on the ground and see the, the effects of recycling this plastic, not just once, but multiple times. So it's not just about breaking down and using the things that we have on station available to us, but being able to do it over and over again to create a more sustainable in-space economy. So right now on the Cygnus, we're culturing and growing human primary muscle cells in these uh, small chips. And we have two chips uh, in our payload. There are four chambers on each, so we have eight separate experiments. The really unique thing about our payload is that it is all contained in a 30 by, by 10 centimeter box. So it's a miniaturized lab and there's really no astronaut intervention needed except to put it in the freezer at the end. This really sets the stage for tissue chip, organ on a chip studies that are coming on uh, future flights. This is a new capability on the ISS and we're just really excited for the uh, a great launch. We are a 501c3 nonprofit that uses spaceflight as a way to get students more engaged in science, technology, engineering, and math. We hold a program called Go for Launch, where for multiple days, students in grades 8 through 12 can compete to have their science ideas flown to the International Space Station. Our investigation concerns the effects of microgravity and low Earth orbit conditions on the basic principles of self-healing polymers and, well, specifically a self-healing concrete. The concrete in our experiment functions using sporulated bacteria colonies and a chemical healing solution. The self-healing properties of these concretes make it such that less time is necessary uh, in order to repair structures um, such as microfractures and other small damages. We hope that our experiment is able to shed some light on the nuances of self-healing materials and microgravity and it spurs the application, uh, the discovery of the applications of self-healing materials in other fields as well.